Hi guys, today's video will be an introduction into simple linear re regression. So simple linear regression is generally um, about trying to construct a line of best fit for a bivariate relationship. So by by bivariate relationship, I mean um, a, re a relationship between uh, two variables. So um, in our case, uh, x and y, where uh, x is the inter independent variable and y is the de dependent variable. Okay. So um, for example, we might use this simple linear regression uh, best fit line to uh, introduce a line of best fit to um, determine the relationship between education in years and um, income. Okay. So we might want to know um, why uh, if I spend so many more years um, in uni or more years in high school, how much more income would I receive? Okay. However, a line of best fit in simple regression is concerned about um, three key things. So firstly, we have the strength of the relationship. So how strong is the relationship between um, education in years and income? So does it consistently give you um, a certain amount of income for every single time you study in that extra year? Or are the results clustered around um, that line of best fit to show that strength of relationship? Um, it could be uh, for an inference about the population parameter. So, for example, the population parameter for um, a marginal increase in education years. So, for example, if I uh, study for an extra year, how much more income would I receive um, as a result um, of studying that extra year according to the line of best fit? And then lastly, the prediction. So given um, a certain amount of education, um, years of education that I've uh, gone through, how much income would I receive um, as according to the model? Okay. So when you construct the line of best fit um, or the regression model, it's a little bit, um, it's difficult. It's a little bit different as well. So just like a normal linear curve with the formula y equals to mx plus b, if you move the b to this side, that will equal the vertical intercept okay plus mx mx m if you remember is the gradient or the rise over the run okay so the formula for the least square model is um, a little bit it, it's similar but it's still a little bit different so the population is still y so y with a subscript i the subscript i means that it's um oh. Sorry, yeah, so the sub subscript i means that um, it's related to this, the data point of subscript x, so x with i. So the population regression model is y subscript i equals to the um, parameter beta, 0 plus capital beta 1, x i. So these two are related points, that, that's why they have corresponding i's plus a disturbance term i which is also associated with um, this, these two data points, okay? So, and then uh, we do have the model, the, the OLS or the, um, the, simple, the ordinary least squared model that we have here. So this one's just um, a line of best fit that tries to predict what this population uh, looks like. So um, we have a Y hat, that's what we call the hat, equals to little b zero, plus uh, b with subscript 1, so subscript 0, multiplied by x1, which is the um, the independent variable, okay? So what is the difference? Well, um, I'll just bring you, up a, bring you up a little diagram. Okay, so, um, so this is how we're going to explain it. So um, the population, okay, the population, you have um, a certain number of points. Uh, you have a certain number of data points, for example. Um, if this is, for example, the height, okay? Uh, what Y hat does, what um, this OLS model does, is try to make a line of best fit so that it can predict, um, given a certain X amount, given a certain X amount, you'd have to, you could predict height on this line and only on this line, okay? So um, the difference... Uh, between uh, the mean, the x mean, and this mean here is equal to, um, is going to be explained by this model. However, um, of course, uh, it's never always right. You can never get uh, a line that's always, this line of best fit will never always be exactly right. Um, so as a result, that when we do have a point that is um, in the red dot here, the red dot here, so that's um, the actual, so that's the actual our actual data point that is not predicted by the, um, that couldn't be accurately predicted by our line of best fit. So the difference between here and here is actually um, what we call the disturbance term. So just this term there. So 
So this this uh, relates to the error of uh, between our uh, our line and our uh, actual so our predicted. So we expected the um, the data point to be here. However, the um, the data point was actually here in reality. So um, to in order to make up for that in our population one, what we do is we just add a disturbance term or the error term, and as a result, we can um, reconcile that. Okay. Right here. So um, if you do remember, we the the formula is y hat equals the b uh, little b plus um, little b with a subscript zero plus uh, little b with a subscript one uh, multiplied by x. Okay, so B1 equals to um, the covariance over the, um, so S, S with subscript XY and S, uh, the variance squared of X. And then, so the distance, so the distance. And then uh, what you get is this sum here. Okay, and then also B uh, or beta with a subscript zero equals to the, uh, the mean of Y minus B1, so that one here, this big sum here, just this here, multiplied by um, the sum, the, the mean of X, okay? So what does the product of the simple regression model do for us? Well, it tells us something about how the popu population parameter actually behaves. So because um, B0 is an estimator, beta1, or, or beta0, um, as a result, we can uh, relate the two together and draw some inference about it. And we can also make educated predictions about um, about the line, okay? So as long as we don't, when we extrapolate the line, as long as we don't, um, as long as we stay in the area in which the data points were, so um, the the range in which the data points were, which created this this actual line, we need to stay within there to actually stay within the relevant um, relevant range so that um, the model is actually um, accurate or as accurate as possible, okay? So that's the end of the video today, guys. I hope you learned something. Thank you. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.